Grandma Rose uh, from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And today, uh, Promise and I just made some vanilla ice cream earlier. And Granddaddy really likes brownies with his ice cream, with his vanilla ice cream. Uh, so, I got milk chocolate because Promise doesn't like really fudgy uh, chocolate brownies. So, I got the milk chocolate today. And we're going to make these. And these are going to be what we call souped up brownies. Some people might would call them brownie supreme. So, in my brown, I'm going to make it according to the package directions. And it's two large eggs, which I have here, three tablespoons of water, and two thirds cup of vegetable oil, which I have here. Promise, if you'll just keep the camera there, I'm going to get. Two, uh, three tablespoons of water, which I forgot to get. Okay. I'm going to put our water in. That was three tablespoons. I'm going to put our oil in. That was Sounds good. Two thirds cup. Mm hmm. And two eggs, and I'm going to mix these up good. And I've got a uh, this is not a nine by 13, this is like a seven by nine. We're just gonna have thick brownies, it says a 13 by nine, but I got out a uh, seven by nine. But what we'll do, we'll just have to cook them a, a good bit longer because for the uh, 9 by 13, you're supposed to cook them um, 20 to 23 minutes, an 8 by 8, 36 to 40 minutes. So we're going to have to cook these about probably 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm just going to get them. My egg and my oil and my water mixed in. All right, we got our brownie mix mixed up, and to this, we are going to add marshmallows. And I've got some miniature marshmallows here. You know what, I better measure these, promise, and see how many uh, that we're putting in it. I'm putting, that's a uh, half cup. And why did we put powdered sugar in there? We put powdered sugar because I didn't think I had miniature marshmallows. And I had some big ones and we cut them up and they were sticking together. So I put a little bit of powdered sugar in there to keep them from sticking. So that's about three fourths cups of marshmallows. Some of them's miniature, some of them some that I just cut up. And I'm gonna mix those up. And you want nuts in it, promise? I don't okay. care. No, no, not really. I like because yeah. sometimes you get um yeah, bad we're, ones. Yeah, we're not gonna it put, just ruins it. We're not putting that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this into my behind you into my seven by nine pan, and I've got my temperature set. And on you're gonna three. put caramel on top, right? I'm gonna put caramel on top, and it says preheat three fifty. But for a glass uh, container, it says 325. So this is a glass container, so we're going to put these on 325 instead of 350. So, all right. Okay. We've got our brownie mix. We've got our marshmallows. And now, I'm going to take some caramel, and I'm just going to drizzle it over it like this. The best part is really the batter, but I can't <laughs> have the batter. Just in the okay, and now I'm going to take this knife, and I'm just going to kind of go around and cut this caramel in. Where you can't see, baby, the lights. Not yeah, oh, okay. And I'm going to cut this, this caramel in, and after it gets done, we're going to put some more caramel on top. So... These are gonna cook about 40 or 45 minutes. It's gonna take it a little bit longer since we've got, ooh, that wind is really blowing. Good gracious. Yeah. Um, since we've got marshmallows and caramel in it, it's gonna take it a while longer. So it may take it up to 50 minutes to cook. 
So I'm fixing to put these in my preheated oven. Look at that, I promise. Woo. Doesn't that look good? Wow. All right, I'm gonna put this in my preheated oven. And I'll do the timer. Okay, they're done. Okay, our timer went off. And we're gonna see if they're Whoa. done. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're done. Yeah, you said that, that you didn't think they'd be done yet. But. I know. Well, they cooked 45 minutes. Uh-oh. What did I do with my toothpick? I had my toothpick out to check them with. Oh. What did I do with it? Well. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere. Come over here. Prom okay. Come over here, Promise. They've yeah. got. They've still got. But not really, not much. It's or, pretty. You know what? The side, the the edges are done. That's how it's supposed to come out, promise. So I'm yeah. gonna put it in for five more minutes. Five more minutes. Well, yeah. can I have a little bit from the edge? Yeah. Go ahead and taste it. Yeah. I'll get a bowl. I'm gonna put it on six. We don't have any milk though, so. Oops. No, we don't have any milk. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a little spoon out here and we're gonna get you a little bit out. Promise has been chomping at the bits. She wanted some of this so bad. Let me see how it looks inside, Promise. Oh my, that's done. Look. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah, that's better. That's already done. Promise, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to cook it any longer. All right. Wait, let me take a picture of it. I told y'all I was going to put some more caramel over it. A little bit more. So. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my. <laughs> Talk about sugar overload. Now, this is going to be sugar overload. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, we're going to have to let them cool. Ooh. Now, Promise has got her some out, but we're going to have to let it cool before yeah. we. Uh, I'll try a little piece. Can't taste it. It's, it's hot. It's too hot. Yeah. A okay. minute. When we cut these, we'll be back with y'all and let y'all see what they look like.